Hello and welcome to this video. This uh, concerns uh, sizing of a quick change tool post for your lathe. Um, you're probably here because you're uh, thinking about buying a quick change tool post. And although the uh, uh, the specifications that the manufacturer give are in ranges and it's uh, seemingly an, an easy uh, decision to make based on the information they gave you. For example, the manufacturer will spec that an AXA size tool post will fit a lathe with a swing from 6 to 12 inches and a BXA tool post will fit a lathe with a swing of 10 to 15 inches. But perhaps you're wondering, um, do I have a special lathe? Uh, so this video, I'd just like to address uh, that concern with a couple of key measurements that you can then use to compare to the tool post you're going to purchase and from that we can uh, determine whether or not it will fit. Okay, so I'll show you now the, uh, the tool post that I bought. So here it is, it's uh, clearly a uh, wedge style even though the box that it came in indicated piston style. So it came as a set. Uh, this is a BXA size as I mentioned before. Um, the lathe that I'm fitting it to is a standard modern 1330 Uta lathe. So you see uh, many of these uh, examples of this uh, type of quick change tool post on Amazon. That's where I purchased mine, and uh, they always seem to come in a they always seem to come in a blue box, uh, uh, just like this, and they have writing on it that uh, you can sort of fill in the blanks. So. So for many, the question is, do I get the wedge style or do I get the piston type? And uh, the difference for me was around $80. And uh, uh, I decided, uh, given that I'm going to keep this lathe for quite a long time, that I'll invest uh, the extra money. Uh, after all, the whole point of going with the uh, quick change tool post was for the added precision and the fact that you wouldn't have to set up your tool post height or your tool bit height uh, each with each operation, which was certainly the case for the rocker style that I had. Okay, so let's get this thing set up and I'll put a ruler uh, against it so you can see what the key considerations are for uh, the purchase of your tool post. So the first consideration is the height from the top of your compound to center line, and I've installed a uh, a point in the chuck in order to uh, indicate where center line is uh, on this lathe. And we can see here that uh, we're an inch and a half uh, center line above the compound. So let me install now the, uh, the tool post so that you can see uh, what the adjustability of the tool post is uh, to center. Okay. So now with the uh, tool post installed, I, I have it angled in order that uh, you can get an appreciation of where the tool bit falls in relation to center line. So I'm going to install a 3 8 size bit, high speed steel, in order to get uh, in order that you can see what's going on here. So it's uh, dropped down to its lowest point. And we can see here that uh, we certainly have uh, quite a bit of room to go up. So for me that was a consideration. Uh, will the tool post uh, drop low enough, given that it's uh, a larger size tool post, uh, in order to accommodate my center line? And obviously it will. So the next question is how high will it go? So with the size bit we can see that the range uh, is very adequate for my purposes. I intend to use uh, 3 8 or 5 16 bits in this uh, in this tool post. And here are the manufacturer's specifications for the tool holder. The BXA model has a B value, so the height up and down here of 5 8 So in theory you could hold a 5 8 tool bit. There's an extra large size as well uh, that would accommodate three quarters. The depth uh, seems to be consistent uh, with half an inch right there for the both the, the 201 and the 201 XL. Uh, looks like the maximum size 
um, bit that can be accommodated in an AXA model is half inch uh, with a 7 16th uh, depth of the throat. CXA uh, basically goes up to 3 quarter inch as a standard and the depth would be 5 8 inch. And from the manufacturer's website we see the difference between AXA and BXA and CXA uh, for a width are 2.5, 3 and 3.5 and inches. So that's that width. And we can also see that the height is 2 and a quarter, 2 and 3 quarters, or 3 inches. So only really a quarter inch higher for the CXA. The diameter of the through um, rod that holds it onto your um, uh, compound uh, is 9 sixteenths for an AXA, 5 eighths for a BXA, and 3 quarters. So that might be a consideration for your lathe, depending on the uh, size of the throat and your compound rest. And it clearly indicates here that uh, the AXA goes from 6 to 12, BXA 10 to 15, and CXA from 13 to 18. So it suggests that I could probably have got away with, with a CXA on this lathe, um, running a smaller, running the smaller tool bits that I do. Uh, but I'd probably be limited uh, when I run a three-quarter inch. But I'm I'm pretty happy with the uh, the size of this uh, particular tool post on my lathe because I, I think it uh, matches proportionally. So that's what I have to say and show you about uh, BXA tool holder on uh, a 13 inch swing lathe and yeah it, uh, it's size right and it works good. And uh, that's a big improvement of course over the old uh, rocker style that I had because um, I'm, I'm on center every time. I spent a lot of time getting back on center when I'm changing tool tools, uh, tool bits, and uh, uh, this is a real uh, time saver and uh, something that you can appreciate. Yeah, so if you uh, like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Any comments, uh, be sure to put them in the section below. Thank you.